The Rugger Black Hawk is a six-shot, single-action revolver manufactured by Rugger. It is produced in a variety of finishes, calibers, and barrel lengths. History In the early 1950s, westerns were popular in movies and television. Colt had discontinued the iconic single-action army prior to World War II, and few single-action revolvers were available to meet market demand for cowboy-style revolvers. In 1953, the new firm of Sturm, Rugger & Company introduced the Single 6, a .22 LR rimfire single-action revolver. The Single 6 proved to be a popular seller, leading Rugger to develop and market a centerfire revolver similar to the single-action army, the Rugger Black Hawk. Rugger introduced the Black Hawk in 1955. Chambered for the .357 Magnum, the Black Hawk was a simple and strong design, and it sold well. In 1956, as Smith & Wesson was introducing the new .44 Magnum, Rugger quickly developed a variant of the Black Hawk in the new cartridge. Rugger achieved wide popularity with this firearm in a hotly anticipated new cartridge, which was both cheaper and more readily available than the Smith & Wesson Model 29 revolver. According to popular legend, Rugger was able to field a .44 Magnum revolver at nearly the same time as Smith & Wesson due to a Rugger employee finding expended .44 Magnum cartridge cases at a scrapyard and deducing that Smith & Wesson was about to launch a new cartridge. The 1955 Euro 1962 Black Hawks are known today as the flat-top models, because their adjustable rear sights were not protected by ears extending up from the frame as later became standard. From 1962 through 1972, Rugger made the three-screw Black Hawk in various calibers, so-called by the number of screws visible on the side of the revolver. The flat-top and three-screw Ruggers were modernized compared to the Colt single-action army, in that they had adjustable sights instead of the Colt's fixed sights, and they used wire coil springs instead of the Colt's flat leaf springs. Bill Rugger chose coil springs due to their greater durability, saying that it solved one of the primary weaknesses of the Colt design. The early models of the Black Hawk still operated the same way as the Colt, in that the hammer was half-cocked to load and unload and that the firearm was not safe to carry with all six chambers loaded due to the hammer resting upon the sixth chamber. In 1973, in order to eliminate accidents occurring from the hammer jarring against a round loaded in the sixth chamber, Rugger introduced the new model Black Hawk. The new model Black Hawk did not require the hammer to be half-cocked for loading and unloading, and it employed a transfer bar mechanism which prevented the cartridge under the hammer from being fired without the trigger being pulled. The new Black Hawk was seen as limiting firearms accidents and legal liability. Rugger then began offering a retrofit program, offering free transfer bar conversions to earlier variants of the Black Hawk. Various Models over the years the Black Hawk has appeared in a wide variety of models. These models include, new model Black Hawk, produced in blued steel and .30 carbine, .357 Magnum, .41 Remington Magnum, .44 Special, and .45 Colt. Produced in stainless in .327 Federal Magnum with an 8-round cylinder, .357 Magnum, and .45 Colt. Multiple barrel lengths were offered in many of these configurations. New model Black Hawk convertible, the cylinder of a Black Hawk is easily removed, and can be replaced with a cylinder for a different cartridge of the same diameter. Rugger has offered convertible cylinder revolvers in .45 ACP-.45 Colt, .38-40-.40 S&W-10 mm Auto, and .357 Magnum-9A. 19mm Parabellum. Other than being sold with multiple cylinders, these firearms are identical to the Black Hawk. New model Super Black Hawk, produced in blued and stainless, with or without a rib for mounting a scope. The Super Black Hawk is built on the same frame, but with a larger grip and unfluted cylinder, in order to more effectively deal with the .44 Magnum's recoil. Also, the ejector rod housings and grip frames are made of steel, versus aluminium for those same components in the Black Hawk. Vaccaro and New Vaccaro, with the popularity of cowboy action shooting came demand for a single-action revolver that was more traditional in appearance. 
as the standard Rugger Black Hawk departs from the single action army looks due to its adjustable sights. Rugger offered a fixed sight equivalent to cater to buyers wanting a more traditional appearance. In all other ways, the Varkaro was identical to the Black Hawk, though offered in slightly fewer variants. The original Varkaro was offered in .357 Magnum, .44 Magnum, and .45 Colt. After some time, Rugger went with a smaller frame to more closely resemble the actual size of the Colt SAA, changed the name to the new Varkaro, and dropped the powerful .44 Magnum from the lineup. While keeping the smaller size, Rugger later went back to the simple Varkaro name. Psley, the Psley grip is a type of angled grip developed by Colt for target shooting at the end of the 19th century. Rugger's Psley offerings incorporated a Psley style grip, hammer spur, and trigger. Old Army, the Old Army is a percussion black powder revolver based on the Black Hawk frame. Equals calibers equals. 0.30 carbine, 0.32 H and R Magnum slash 0.32 minus 20 Winchester convertible, 0.327 Federal Magnum, 9A, 19mm Parabellum slash 0.357 Magnum convertible, 0.357 Magnum, 0.357 Remington Maximum, 10mm Auto slash 0.38 minus 40 Winchester convertible, 0.41 Magnum, 0.44 Special, 0.44 Magnum, 0.45 ACP slash 0.45 Colt Convertible, 0.45 Colt, 0.454 Casual, 0.480 Rugger. Equals finishes equals, blued, stainless steel. See also, Rugger Single 6, Table of Handgun and Rifle Cartridges. References External links, Rugger New Model Black Hawk on Rugger.com an exploded view diagram of a rugger Black Hawk from American Rifleman.